Hi everyone, my name is Steph. This is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review of a middle grade graphic novel, Ghost Book by Remy Lai. Now Remy Lai has written and illustrated some fantastic books that I have really enjoyed. She is Indonesian, she grew up in Singapore and she lives in Brisbane, Australia. Her illustrative style is just quirky and fun and this is quite a hefty middle grade graphic novel and it is perfect for October. So in this story we have July and we have William and both July and William are 12 years old and when they were born one was supposed to die and one was supposed to live but they both lived and this has caused issues in the spirit world because one of them survived and when they shouldn't have. As a result of that William's soul constantly becomes detached from his body and wanders and one day he crosses paths with July and they quickly decide that they need to try and find a way to stop William's soul from wandering away from his body. Only the consequences could be pretty bad for July if that was to occur. All of this is happening during Hungry Ghost Month and so there are some really fantastic traditions and ideas that are occurring during this time and of course the impact of these two, not only is William a wandering soul, but people forget July all the time. That's the impact of these two having their fate interrupted. I really enjoyed reading this. I had a great time. It is a full color graphic novel, which I mean, for a book this size, that's, that's great because the color really adds something to the story because quite a bit of this story happens during the nighttime. So you get those colors and that atmosphere that is set up. The relationship between July and William is really interesting because obviously when they figure out that for William to survive, July might have to die, you know, things get really tense and, they're, and their friendship, their tentative friendship is really tested by that. And then there are all the characters around them who are affected by what is going on. And we know that July's father has a secret and that plays out on the page as well. I thought this was really fun. It was really enjoyable. I'm so glad that I read it. It was a book that I was meaning to pick up earlier in the year and I just didn't quite get around to it. So now that I have a physical copy and I was able to read it in October, I, I mean, it's just perfect. And I think if you have kids or students who are really interested in middle grade graphic novels, who like things that are a little bit quirky, if they like ghost stories, if they like paranormal stories, then this is definitely one to check out. I will leave information to where you can find out more information about this book down below. If you have read it, I would love to chat to you about it in the comments, or if you're planning on picking it up, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, feel free to leave a ghost emoji to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.